Hi, this is Pete with RatMySpider.com. Today we're going to show you how to apply our two-piece textured carbon fiber tank protector. The textured carbon fiber is available in uh, quite a few of our graphic products. So you're able to do a tank protector like what we're going to show you today along with matching graphics. So it's quite a versatile product and available in a number of different items that we offer on our website. So to get started here, we've already prepped the surface of the spider with our 70% rubbing alcohol and paper towel. I also took some uh, masking tape and accented the two little body lines that are uh, to the left and right side of the gas filler. And you can see the angle of the tank protector is cut on the same angle, so that's just to help with alignment to make that easier for you. So today's demonstration is going to be done dry without um, any liquid. Uh, the film that we're using is a highly conformable uh, textured carbon fiber that does have air release adhesive and therefore wet application is not necessary. You will want to have a heat source available. We have a heat gun and that will help us to um, allow the material to conform to the shape of the tank. So let's get started. So there's our tank protector. It's already pre-cut to the shape of the surface area where we're going to apply it. So the first thing that we're going to do is peel it off the backing paper and then use our tape marks that we've already put into place for alignment purposes. So with this material you do get uh, quite a few different chances so if you don't like where you set it on the machine you can simply pick it back up and reposition it. Those pieces of tape uh, help us tremendously in making sure that we have it um, set where we like it, as well as even from side to side. So once we get into position and we have it where we like it, you can take your finger and just go uh, top to bottom, which is now giving you a center hinge using the material. So you can pick up half of the uh, tank protector, use your squeegee that's supplied in the kit, and begin to squeegee it into place. We're starting from the center, and we're gonna work our way out, uh, as well as up and down to the bottom corners as well. So you can kind of let the material fall into position and like it is here. And then just take your squeegee and work to the outside edges. Um, we do it backwards so you can see. So a lot of times um, when we're working over these curves, you can um, kind of do a, uh, a stroke that goes across the material that seems to help it to lay out uh, without bunching. You can do multiple strokes as you go, laying the film into place and working my way down, down to this bottom corner. Now, if you want to, at this point, when you get to that bottom edge, you can take just a little bit of light heat, apply it to that surface area, and then continue to uh, work the film down. What the heat does is it helps to soften the film to allow it to be just a little bit more conformable than uh, standard temperature. So right down to the bottom corner, take the other side, and again we're going to... You can see the film is quite user friendly. It does not trap air bubbles, uh, which makes it a real joy to work with. Again, I'm squeegeeing that side up, out, out, out. So we're working our way down to that corner again. And again, if you wanted to, you could apply just a little bit of heat right in this area um, to soften the film, to help it to conform. 
and you're just working it down into place. So that's the top half. Uh, then when we get to our bottom half, we pull the material from the backing. And the way we've created this is just to have a little bit of a thin gap. Uh, make sure that you're, you're centered where you like it. It's supposed to fall to the center of the of the seat. When you get it there, you can take your thumb, making that uh, center hinge. So you've got half and half again. So you'll take your squeegee from the center, and again, you're working your way from the middle uh, up to the outsides, right? So from the middle. Again, and then from the middle down to the bottom corners. And once you have it applied, you can take off your center hinge. And now you've got a two-piece tank protector in textured carbon fiber. And that's uh, just a quick demonstration on the best way to apply that uh, texture carbon fiber as well as the many different uh, patterns that we have available in the vinyl product to lay in the tank section. We hope that this video is helpful and you can find all of our products for the Can-Am Spiders at wrapmyspider.com.